Hi everyone, thank you for joining. My name is Jennifer. I'm a tutor at the Garcia Center and I attend Texas A&M University Corpus Christi. Today I'm going to be going over some math for students ages 9 through 10 which are in 3rd and 4th grade. After the video there will be a small quiz. This quiz can be found in the link above. The quiz will consist of what I'm about to go over. For more videos like this, make sure to join us on Mondays and Wednesdays at 12.30 p.m. I hope you guys enjoy. Today we're going to get started with grade 3 and 4 converting time. And we're going to be focusing on hours and minutes. So here we have one hour equals 60 minutes. So we need to convert the time between hours and minutes. So let's look at number one. We have 60 minutes equals how many hours? So right here, we have one hour equals 60 minutes. So the opposite would be 60 minutes equals one hour. Now let's look at number two. Three hours equals how many minutes? So if one hour equals 60 minutes, how many would three hours be? So what we would need to do is 60 times three. Because one hour is 60 minutes, we want to figure out how much is in three hours. So let's do this. Three times zero is zero. Six times three is 18. So this would be 100 and 80 minutes. Three hours equals 180 minutes. Let's look at the next question. We have 240 minutes equals how many hours? So now we want to go from minutes to hours. If we want to go from minutes to hours, we would have to divide. So what we would do is 240 divided by 60. So let's go ahead and do the multiples of 60 right here. So let's do 60 times 1 equals 60. 60 times 2 equals 120. 60 times 3 equals 180. 60 times 4 equals 240. So this would be 4. 60 times 4 equals 240. You subtract that and that is 0. So yeah, the answer is 4. So 240 minutes equals 4 hours. And we got that by dividing 240 by 60. So let's look at the next one. We have 5 hours equals how many minutes? So what we would need to do is multiply 5 times 60. So let's do that. We have 60 times 5. What is 0 times 5? That is 0. 6 times 5, that is 30. So 5 hours equals 300 minutes. Let's go on to the next one. We have 90 minutes equals how many hours? So let's do 90 divided by 60. 90 divided by 60. So again, the way we want to think of it is 60 times what equals 90? So let's look at our multiples. 60 times 1 equals 60. 60 times 2 equals 120. And that is too much, so we would stick with 60 times 1 equals 60. So we have 60 times 1 equals 60. We subtract that. 0 minus 0 is 0. 9 minus 6 is 3. So we have 30 left. Can we do anything else? 60 times what equals 30? We can't. So this would be our remainder. And this would be considered our leftover minutes. So this would be 90 minutes equals 1 hour and 30 minutes. So that is what 90 minutes would be. Again, 1 hour and 30 minutes. Let's look at the last question. We have 12 hours equals how many minutes? 
So one hour equals 60 minutes. So we need to multiply 60 and 12. So we, here we have 60 times 12. So what is 2 times 0? Zero? 0. 6 times 2, that is 12. Next line, well, you can leave it blank or you can just add a 0. 0 times 1, 0. 6 times 1, 6. So next you're going to add this. 0 plus 0, 0. 2 plus 0, 2. 1 plus 6, 7. So 12 hours equals 720 minutes. So that is all we have for converting time with hours and minutes. That's all I have for you today. And remember, for more videos like this, join us on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you have any questions regarding the problems I went over, feel free to ask them on the comments below. And if you have any subjects you'd like me to go over, you can go ahead and write them down in the comments as well. Thank you.